Hi guys, welcome to Cooking with Ash. This is episode number one. In this series, we're going to be looking at feeding a family of four, lunch and dinner, five days a week for £25. That's hashtag 5 for 25 And I'm sure they can edit in a little uh, thing there. Um, so for this episode, we're going to do grilled cheese and a sausage hog pot. You're going to need one of these and one of these. And the recipe is about there. Don't leave me hanging. Sweet. Yeah. Good cooking. All right, good. I was like, I'm waiting for you to go, yeah, you can carry on now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, Chris. <laughs> All right, so let's get cooking. So to start off, we're going to do our grilled cheese. And we're going to set out a chopping board. Now, a couple of little hints and tips. Chopping board is going to need a cloth underneath. That stops it moving about, all right? That's really, really important because what's going to happen is when we're doing stuff, it's all going to wiggle about. Don't want to cut yourself, cut yourself, cut yourself. Caught myself up. Let's go. Plaster for continuity's sake. Don't want to hurt yourself. Grilled cheese, nice and simple. My kid's favourite, so I think this loaf of bread was probably like 45 pence. Now, if you want, you can stretch it out to do a few more. Uh, but we're going to get four out of this and then have some bread and butter later on for one of our stews. Now, doing a grilled cheese, most important thing is to butter both sides. Crispens the inside, crispens the outside. So just do that. A little bit of butter. Flip it. We're British, we like butter. And flip it. Now we picked up the cheese. What did we get the cheese for? Two quid? Something like that? Open her up. Carefully your fingers. While this is all going on, I've just got my pan heating to the side. Just cut yourself some nice slivers off. What we're aiming for is to use about half of this block of cheese. We'd like to save some later on for our pizzas. But on the inside. Lay your cheese in. Now I'm a fan of black pepper, so always black pepper on the inside for me. A little bit of salt. And that's it. It's just gonna go in the pan. That's on about medium heat. And over here, I've got one of these fancy lids. The lid goes on. Just gonna leave that for a couple minutes. So it's just gonna toast on the underside. When that's ready, we're gonna flip it, toast on the other side. So that's been going for a couple minutes. We're just gonna have a quick little look. Keep on checking as we go along. Yeah, let's go nice and golden there. As you see, flip her back over. Lid back on, all right? And we're gonna give that another couple minutes. Just keep your eye on it, keep on going, keep looking and just checking on it because you don't want to burn it. All right, so I think if we have a little check now, she has done nicely on both sides. So if you can see that. And flip. Just carefully your fingers. All right. Now, if you're doing multiples of these for the kids, get these done, get them laid out on a tray, and you can quickly flash them in the oven, and uh, that will bring them all up to the temperature about the same sort of time. All right, a couple minutes on, golden brown, Flip it, couple minutes, lid on, boom, we're done. Easy peasy. We're gonna have a little look because we're gonna go for that sexy cheese pull. It's like Instagram, that's what we gotta do. So, again, just careful. Really, really hot on the hands. Let's see how we're doing on the old cheese. Oh yes, so there we go, look at that bad boy. It's all the best stuff. Ooh, yeah. Maybe it's gonna be hot as well. We've been working all day, so I'm actually quite looking forward to this. Oh, the best, the best. My kids love this, Maggie, Peggy, from to you. All right, so dinner time. Uh, we're gonna do a sausage hot pot with mushrooms and apples, uh, loads and loads of onions in it. Delish, all right? A uh, little chance now, just to talk about knives. Uh, you're just going to need, for all these recipes, a little veg knife, nice and sharp, this is a tomato knife, uh, and a big chef's knife, and that's it, all right? So nice and simple, nothing too fancy, um, just something big and sturdy that you can work with, all right? 
star recipe, we're going to use our sausages that we bought from the shop. In our pan, we're going to get to a high heat. A little bit of olive oil um, and our sausages. Now, we're going to save two of these sausages for a recipe later on. Uh, so we're going to use eight. So we bought ten, we're going to use eight. In the pan, we're just going to lay them in nice and gently. Careful not to singe your fingers or splash yourself up with hot oil. Keep the oil to a minimum because once we cook these sausages off and brown them off in the pan, they are going to sort of um, release their own natural oil and that's going to do a lot of work for us, all right? I'm going to give them a little, little crack of pepper because I always do the pepper and then we're just going to let them go for a minute, all right? We're going to brown them on all sides. So once they're brown, flip them to their side, flip them over again, 360 all the way around. Get yourself a set of tongs, which is going to get turning. So this one is what we're looking for, this sort of colour, browned on all sides, all right? We want that for all the sausages, so keep your eye on them, just keep them moving, um, and before you know it, I reckon about two minutes, they'll be done. So the sausages are browned, they're looking good all over. We're just going to transfer them into a tray, um, just give us a little room to work and do our next part, okay? So we're going to fry off our onions, we're going to fry off our mushrooms, get it all cooking. There we go. Right. Medium heat still going, just add a little splash more oil. Need to peel our onions. So peel an onion, just take the top off gently, carefully your thumb, peel back. I always work nice and tidy. You make a mess and you're in trouble. Top off, bottom off, and just peel back. Now, from our bag of onions, we're gonna need about three. So all we're gonna do with them is cut them into wedges. All right, they're gonna fall apart, there's no worries. So, three onions, kind of about like that. In the pan. Right, and we're gonna do all our onions like that. Get them in, get them rolling. Little season with salt and pepper as we go along. Now, obviously if you're cooking for the kids and you're watching the sodium, uh, you don't have to add salt. Um, you know, it can go on the table, you can always add some as you go along. Professional kitchens, we season every step of the way, so your food is just laced with salt. But obviously we're cooking for kids, all right? If you don't want to, don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world, all right? I'm just going to keep those moving. While they're browning, we're going to cut up our uh, mushrooms, all right? Uh, a couple basic knife skills, I think, is probably quite important. Uh, whenever you're cutting, do not leave your hands out. This is targets for your knife. We claw. See this? Like that. We grip on the stuff, so if you slip with a knife, there's nothing in the way. All right, and we're just going to slice up our mushrooms. Now, important tip on mushrooms, they always need washing before. Um, a lot of people don't do it, but they're so gritty, they're so dirty. If you rinse them under cold tap, see what comes out, you'll probably, you know, never not do it again. All right, mushrooms, once they're all sliced, they're gonna go in the pan. Now, don't forget your onions are on the side here. Get them moving. Now, benefit for a lot of this stuff, and a lot of the recipes we're going to do is that you can do a lot of it ahead of time. Slice all your mushrooms ready, brown your sausages ready, cut your onions ready. All right, make everything we do super, super speedy. If you've got a moment without the kids in the afternoon, just quickly crack on. Get everything sliced up, ready to roll. Prep is key. I can't remember what the old adage is, prepare to fail, fail to prepare, something like that. Chucking them in. All right, gonna give them a little salt and pepper. And then what we're gonna do with this now, it's gonna take a few minutes, keep it on about medium heat, and we're just gonna sweat them down, all right? And that just means that they're gonna slowly soften, all the sort of natural sugar's gonna come out, it's gonna give them a really, really sweet taste, it's gonna be delicious.
a few moments later. So our mushrooms, onions are all caramelized and they're all softening up. Looking really, really tasty. All right, it smells incredible in here as well. Absolutely incredible. All right, while that's happening, taking some of the veg stock we bought earlier. So I think these cubes, they probably say 500 ml of water. Need a litre's worth, so two stock cubes, all right? These are veg, they'll go across the board. Good bit is you got that in your cupboard for next time as well, all right? So we're kind of building our store cupboard up as we go along, all right? I'm gonna bring this across. Shoink. There we go. There we go. Now they're starting to soften, we're gonna add back in our sausages, all right? Just chuck them straight in. Boish. And all of that is going to come together now. Uh, the next sort of stage we need to look at is making our gravy and our sauce for it. All right. So in here, with the sausages, the onions and the mushrooms, going to add a little dust in the flour. All right. And we're talking two or three tablespoons. Not much at all. That's going to coat our veggies and our sausages. Um, and uh, once we add our stock, it's going to become a base for our stock. So get it all mixed around. You just want to fry that off for about a minute. That's going to uh, help get rid of the taste of flour uh, when we make our gravy, all right? While that's browning, next little mission, apples, all right? Going to need to get these cored and uh, into quarters, all right? Simple, simple for me. Down the middle, careful with your hands to one side. Take the middle out. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be precise. They're gonna sweat and soften up, all right? And again, on the other side, all right? And when they're all done, you should have a nice big bowl full, like that. Sausages, onions, all browning. Flowers browned off. We're well seasoned. Got our stock ready. We got our apples ready. Tomato puree, couple of tablespoons in. Again, this is something that we've got in the cupboard now for other meals, all right? So already we're starting to build a little store cupboard up. This is gonna save you money next time, which is you know, awesome. Mixing through again. All right, get that tomato puree coat and everything. Tomato puree is great for flavor, uh, great for color, but also it works as a thickening agent as well. Um, so, with that and the flour, we're gonna have this really nice, rich sauce. It's gonna be delicious, all right? Stock's ready. Sausages, onion, mushroom mix, all ready. Just gonna add in about a quarter of our stock and get it mixed through. Once this is on, we're gonna turn the heat right up now. We're gonna start boiling the crap out of it. I swore, we're not allowed to swear. We're gonna start boiling it. I think we can probably bleep that out, aren't we? Is that how it's gonna work? Crap's all right, sweet. So after that, I'm looking down the camera here, you can see that sauce is really starting to thicken already. That's the flour, that's the tomato puree doing its job. Another quarter. When thickening soups, stocks, anything like that, anything that's flour based, you slowly add the stock. Uh, if it's a white sauce, uh, like a cheese sauce, you slowly add the milk. This gives the stock milk time to um, incorporate into the flour. If you chuck it all in at once, it's just an absolute mess. You get lumps of flour, it's not mixed through properly. So this gives us a chance to get that done. And when it comes up to the boil, that's where I'm gonna add more. Shouldn't take too long. Once this is all done and all the stock's incorporated, we're gonna get this in the oven. So get your oven on about 190, all right? Um, what's really important to say is with all our pans so that they've got metal handles that are oven safe. If they're not oven safe, it's not worry, it's all good. We've got roasting tins. We'll just transfer into one of these, get it in the oven instead. Keep adding in the stock. So we're probably gonna chuck the last of that in. All right, so as you can see now, that's all come together. The sauce is nice and thick. All right, I'm gonna bring it up. 
We're going to bring that to the boil. And then that's going to go in the oven. Right before we do though, our last bit is all these apples all in. Get them mixed in. We add them at the last second because we kind of want to keep them textured. So if you chuck them in and cook them with all the mushrooms, all the onions and that, uh, they're just gonna be mush. And actually we want that nice crunch of the apple. Adds a really good sweetness to it. Also adds a nice tartness to it. That's on the boil. I'm gonna go in the oven. All right, so that's going in the oven. That's gonna be about 12 minutes, all right? That's gonna give the sausages a chance to cook, that sauce to reduce and thicken even more, make our mushrooms and our onions really jammy. Um, once that's done, we're gonna get it out and we're gonna serve. Eventually. All right, guys, 12 minutes is up. Sausage hot pot, a sausage casserole is done. I'm gonna get it out now, have a little gander, all right? Now please, please be careful when you take it out of the oven. If the kids are around, just make sure they know not to touch anything. Right, let's serve some up. Here we go, so be careful. Obviously, really, really hot all over. The handle, the whole lot. Give it a little stir, make sure it's all mixed up. Now, family of four, we've allocated two sausages per portion. Dad's a bit hungry, chuck him three. If you've got a little one, one is plenty, all right? Chuck that in, it's gonna get ourselves a little bit of gravy on there as well. Pick up some of the mushrooms, a whole lot. All right, there we go. So one sausage hot pot with apples, onions, and mushrooms. How's that looking? Yeah. All right guys, so that was episode number one. We learned how to do a grilled cheese. We made ourselves an amazing sausage hot pot here. Uh, join us tomorrow, we're going to be learning how to make a red sauce, you can already see. Pouring some pasta ready to go with that for lunch. And for dinner, we're going to show you how to butcher a chicken and then make a chicken burger out of it, alright? So join in, enjoy, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Brilliant. Cool. Motherfucker, that handle's still hot. Yep. You're going to be really annoyed at how much you say, all right. Okay, I'll remember that as well. Yeah.